While Rome is the capital of Italy, Florence is the capital of art. Considered the birthplace of the Renaissance, many of the world's greatest artists have called it home. Leonardo da Vinci, Dante, and Michelangelo, just to name a few. In an art studio on the outskirts of Florence, one man is trying to create a new generation of Michelangelos and revive the culture through sacred art. I really believe that the highest manifestations of any culture is in the sacred art, whether it's Inca culture or African culture. It's the sacred is where you really get the, the essence of the culture. And if there's to be a revival of Western culture, I firmly believe that we need to get to the essence of, what, of, of Western culture. And um, that really brings us back to Greco-Roman and Judeo-Christian foundations. And those foundations are, are most evident today within the Roman Catholic Church. And uh, if we look at the great works that were, have been produced throughout the centuries, the vast majority of them have been commissioned by the Roman Catholic Church. Donny McManus is from Ireland, but moved to Florence to start a sacred art school. And many are being inspired to do more than just create art. The people, the young artists that come in contact with me, uh, are very relieved to actually find uh, this, this beauty and understand to be able to decode this, these great masters. And once they decode these great masters, uh, most of them, if they're not Catholic already, become Catholic. Over the last uh, eight years, there have been about eight conversions here in Florence. These young artists are embracing the faith because they're studying art here, they're, they're, they're penetrating the culture, and once they penetrate the culture, if there's someone there to help them interpret and understand that that culture comes from the sacred, uh, and uh, what, they're, what these artists are trying to do is penetrate the vero presence, or the true presence within, within life and within humanity, well, the most truest presence that these artists find and, and project is, is the true presence of Christ. And uh, that primary inspiration is the Blessed Sacrament of the Eucharist. And that is my primary inspiration as well. So we're, we're coming from a, a similar basis. Uh, when I was reading, uh, I think it was, it was Gaudium et Spes, uh, Gaudium et Spes uh, from the Vatican II, uh, there's a passage where it mentions Christ reveals man to man. And when I read that, I realized, wait a second, that's exactly the vocation of an artist, to reveal man to man. Now, if... Uh, if if I want to really reveal man to man, uh, well in Gaudium et Spes it talks about Christ revealing man to man. So it kind of linked there, I realized that when you look at art history, the, the figure that's most prominent, the figures that are most prominent are Christ and his mother. Uh, and essentially they reveal who man is. Uh, and I encourage my students, I'm starting this new sacred art school uh, here in, in Florence with the blessing of the Archbishop of Florence, who's very enthusiastic about this project and insisting that it happens here. That, pro that school is all about essentially extending my bottega, my workshop, to, uh, to open it up to young, talented artists who want to study um, art in, in uh, anatomy, uh, anatomy, sculpture, painting and drawing. So that there's a full uh, training that I want to uh, get across. The only way to really change society is through culture. Uh, and John Paul made that very clear, yeah, a blessed John Paul II now. It's very, very important to change culture and the best way, or to change society and the best way is through culture. It's not through force, it's not through armies, it's not through politics necessarily, it's through culture. And uh, it's through freedom and, and it's an act of love. Uh, so I would see the best way of, of changing society is, is, is bringing Christ back into the culture. Art is not only a passion or vocation for Doni, it is also an apostolate, something he brings to the young people in Florence and around the world. This is a, a center of Opus Dei and I'm doing uh, activities uh, here on Saturdays where I'm teaching uh, these young boys uh, about 12 years of age, there's a group of about 12 to 14, uh, 12 year olds. There is a cultural vacuum uh, among the youth in Italy at the moment, and that's across the globe. But uh, I figured that, you know, because I'm mostly working with foreign students here in Florence, I felt something has to be done with the young Italians and uh, 
So I started up this project called Piccolo Michelangelo, Little Michelangelo, and uh, the whole idea is to train these young boys uh, at such an early age, 12 years of age, at the same time Bernini and Michelangelo and all these guys were really producing, starting to produce their work. So I feel uh, and there's some real good, real talent there. So what I'm trying to do here is is to try, it's, it's more or less an outreach from, from the Sacred Art School to help the local kids uh, to understand their culture and, and uh, to revive their culture. To find out more about the Sacred Art School in Florence, visit www.donimcmanusstudios.com.